Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Isra Automation. and today we will see how we can install Windows 11 from Windows 10 Hyper-V. I have already downloaded the ISO file of Windows 11 and I am going to create the new virtual machine which is Windows 11 Pro and then I need to choose the generation 2 while I am going to install the virtual machine because this is a new operating system altogether and also set up the startup memory of at least 4 GB if not it is not going to work and it is going to comply on you while you start running it and select the default connection that you have got and leave the size whatever that you have in your machine. And then you can choose the ISO file that you have downloaded, which is the one which I downloaded today. And then I'm going to hit next and then I'm going to create this virtual machine. And this is going to create the disk and everything for us. And on the settings, you can see that we need to set up the processor, which is the number of virtual processor, at least four, which is the ideal uh, configuration that you need to do. And also you can see the memory is currently 4096 and also make sure that you enable the TPM module because that is something a required module while installing Windows 11 within your machine and once everything is there we can then start running the installation process of Windows 11 which is quite straightforward as you would expect so once you start this it's going to ask you to boot from ISO file and that's what it is and then you can see that the installation is pretty straightforward just install and then enter the activation key if you have and I don't have one and then I'm just going to leave it as it is and then I'm going to choose Windows 11 Pro and I'm going to accept every conditions and I'm going to do a custom installation, format the drive and I'm going to hit next to start installing the Windows 10 which is going to be straightforward. So once this whole copy of the file is done, the setup process is going to be as simple as this. Just follow the instruction which is available on the screen and just click yes, 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 like whatever is applicable for you based on your region. And there we go, we have our Windows 11 brand new operating system fully installed. And you can see that the first look of Windows 11 is quite promising because you have the start menu with more refined uh, menu bar over here. And you can see that the search is more refined as well, pretty much from the start menu, but it is a bit refined as shown in the announcement before. And I've also heard that the paint is gonna be uh, getting a makeover pretty soon. Uh, and also some of the nice feature which I like in Windows 11 pretty quickly to show is this one, like the uh, desktop features. So you can see that the desktop one, I have already created this particular like snap. So this snap feature is quite interesting to see because this snap feature is helpful while you do programming. So if you have a terminal running in one place and you have Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio running in another place. So you, if you wanted to really work and see what's really happening in all the places, like if you have a big monitor, the snap is quite interesting and helpful. So you can customize that if you go to the maximize window over here and then you can select the uh, options, something like this. See, you can keep changing this one however you wanted to and the snap changes pretty instantly. And other thing about Windows 11 is the desktop itself. Like you can switch to the virtual desktop much easily, pretty much like the Mac operating system from one place to another. Uh, a desktop, very, very simple. Like it's maintains that snap and also you can go the another desktop and then you can do programming for example in one desktop you can work on visual studios with c sharp stuff and another desktop you can do the personal things and another desktop you can work for maybe the java things if you wanted to yeah so that's the uh, uh, desktop things which i really like about in this particular windows 11 operating system itself and other than that there are minor tweak of themes being applied in this particular operating system itself something like the file explorer it looks a bit better in terms of the makeover very, very touch friendly, I guess, if you are working with the Microsoft Surface devices, you will probably like this uh, touch friendliness of this particular UI. I think that's the more customized uh, version as you can see over here. So if you click that uh, date and time, you can see it brings you up like that. And also you can see here, the night light pretty much comes in and you can even uh, do the settings change and you can see all the settings are very, very refined this time. I mean, those things are much, much refined. 
And in terms of the themes and personalization of this operating system, I think I really like about the theme itself because it is going to be more black and also the blue combination. I like that. And also the better thing about this particular operating system is it has a very, very glassy transparency effect. But because I have installed this in a virtual machine, I don't really see the glass effect pretty much a very visible, at least in this particular operating system. I think it's because um, it is running on a VM like the Hyper-V, uh, the graphics is not that better, at least for this particular operating system. Maybe I need to change some settings, which I'm not sure about it yet, but I should be playing around with that. Yeah, so that's about this operating system itself. But other than that, it runs quite smooth, much faster. And I like this operating system after installing it. It looks much refined compared to the pretty familiar Windows 10 operating system uh, at least this operating system is like after a long time it looks much better yeah that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video this is what is the installation and the first look of windows 11 using the windows 11 iso release today thank you